So this video is going to be about getting your first Webflow project. I know that's probably the hardest part of actually starting a business is finding somebody willing to give you money, especially if you are literally just starting out, don't have a portfolio and are finding it very hard to obviously build trust with somebody if you don't have any referrals before. So I'm going to show you the process that I use and I'm going to use Upwork, which is a freelance software tool. Now, a lot of uh, people will say don't use Upwork, uh, but this process can be used for literally anything. You can reach out to email, uh, email clients in your local area, say that you want to work with restaurants, just email, uh, use this same process, use the same uh, template that I have in the bio and send that off in an email to the clients. So. Basically, the philosophy of this is we're not sending bulk amounts. So what I tend to do every single day, I put a goal to send off two high quality proposals per day. That means I will literally spend two hours finding the ideal candidate that is going to look at my proposal. And then I'm going to produce a very high quality proposal that actually gives them information rather than telling them how great I am. As somebody that has hired people through Upwork before, um, I basically, you stand out if you actually give the client something. And what I mean by that is actually give them some relevant knowledge um, by auditing their site or just saying what they can do to improve or how you can help. I'd say 99 out of 100 proposals are literally copy and paste scripts of people saying, hi, I'm great, hire me. Listen, if you send something like that, you're getting, it's getting thrown in the bin. And uh, all it says to me is that, oh, this guy's uh, within 10 minutes found 100 different clients and just sent bulk email out. And it's, if anything, it, it, it doesn't start off on a great foot because there's no trust. There's no trust there. So uh, to go back to it, the philosophy is build trust the first moment you meet the client. Right, so if we look on my screen, we are in with the Upwork program. Now, quickly, I'm just going to show you a quick way to filter through the crap jobs because just like there are crap people proposing for jobs, there are time wasters that make jobs as well. So after you set up your account, go into the top bar, type in Webflow. And of course, you can uh, use this same process on any uh, freelance platform, say Fiverr, they all have this sort of filtration. So already you've got Webflow, you've got all the jobs here. Um, there's actually a very good one for $75 up here. But what we are looking for is, first of all, turn off uh, UK only. We want literally everything because uh, we're greedy. But what we're going to do is we're the first thing that is very important is you want to go down to client info, type in payment verified. That basically just ensures that these clients that are on Upwork actually have set up their billing process because a lot of people will make a job posting just to get because uh, there's a lot of people that will send proposals of like ideas. So they're literally fishing for ideas and they'll never actually hire anybody for the job. So ensure the payment's verified. Now, that's all I like to do. I used to always put an expert and a minimum pay, but now I actually apply for jobs that are below my pay because sometimes the client will actually see the quality of your work and want to pay higher. But what we're looking for here is uh, a few things that the pay isn't too low. So for me personally, I don't do anything around $45 or lower because I propose a lot higher than that. We want to look at um, their star rating. I still apply for people that are obviously low stars because sometimes uh, it's just unlucky that you got a low star. And then one of the most important things is the uh, the amount spent. So this client has spent $40,000 that's obviously saying this person isn't mucking about. They know what they're doing. They're paying uh, clients. Now, just scroll through. And obviously, like I said, the, the philosophy is we're trying to find two. Within two hours, even it's not going to take two hours, to be honest. That's if you're uh, emailing. This is going to be a lot quicker through Upwork. So I've already gone through and found a, a very relevant job posting, if we go over to that. So this client, I saw... Uh, they're willing to pay $50 an hour. 
Uh, they have a 4.4 rate review out of 34, and they have uh, spent over $90,000. So this is the ideal candidate for me. Uh, it seems like a big business. They've uh, already had 133 jobs before. So there you go. This is your quick audit of not wasting any time and pinpointing the right clients. Right, before we... Um, actually, let's delve into the actual project. So what they've asked for is they're looking for a fast, smart, detail uh, orientated designer. So if hopefully that's you, you've already ticked the boxes there with Webflow expertise. So they're looking for a designer that can also use Webflow. Ideally, this is exactly what we're marketing to because we're visual designers that know how to build websites. Now, this is great. They've um, given a link to their website. So in another tab, I've got that open. And what we'll be doing is using their website to actually send a audit proposal. Now, scope of the work, finalize existing pages within uh, three to five pages. Yes, we can do that. Uh, create advanced business illustrations and micro interactions. I've actually looked at their website and they might, I wouldn't say that they're uh, using advanced business illustrations. So this client probably doesn't know what is capable within the platform so it just gives you little tales about their experience with websites uh, polish and optimize the website so they're asking for somebody that knows the technical know-how uh, of how to use best practices in making a clean site so obviously if you're just starting out um, this might not be a job for you because you're going to be building you're not going to know how to optimize the websites but after a few months you're going to know and this is ticked off as well Right, so they're asking to share a business to business uh, website. Obviously, in the proposal, we, we're going to need um, some form of portfolio. And uh, before we're sending stuff to clients and before you obviously get clients, you're going to need to know how to build within Webflow. So I would say before you even start getting clients, make sure you've built at least a couple of websites that you have in your portfolio and make a B2B website basically means business to business. Uh, make a SaaS website, which is software as a service website. And even if they aren't actual client websites, you can still showcase them and say, oh, hi, I made this. This is great. Um, and it's in the sector. Just don't say that it's not a live company unless they ask. Obviously, we're not lying, but <laughs> we're not uh, uh, we're not forcefully failing the interview process anyway. Right. So all of that looks good. They've got a couple questions down here. Uh, obviously, showcase the B2B website and describe your recent experience, which is just a generic uh, thing within Upwork you can put up. Right. Let's look at the proposals. They've got 20 out of 50. Like I said, um, 20 uh, out of them, 50 proposals, about 45 to 49 of them are going to be absolute crap. I know this because I hire people in Upwork all the time. So don't worry about that. We're going to be literally in the top 2%, top 1% of the proposals here. Now, this is good. They've reviewed the client in the last two hours. That means that they're, because if you, see, if you see they haven't reviewed it in like two, three days, I wouldn't apply because it means that they've just left the job posting. And they're interviewing six people. Uh, that's, that's a little bit of a problem because they're already in the process. But again, we're going to be in the top 1%. So obviously, this will show up better than anybody else. And obviously, they've sent 33 invites, so that's probably where they've got the six interviews from. Right, now, this is a top tip. When we're um, messaging clients, and this doesn't mean it matter if you're on Fiverr, you're emailing, what we need to do is find out who we're emailing's name. Now, this is going to put you in the top 1% because nobody ever puts the name at the start, and it uh, tells the client this isn't a just a generic proposal. They actually know who I am. So... What we do is we find a review where the previous worker has actually uh, said, so here it's Amar, he's given a review and he's put the uh, dude's name who owns this company. You can't actually find the person's details on the account. This is the only way you can find their uh, name. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy Omar and we're going to come over to my proposal template. Now, this template is, um, if you sign, subscribe to my email newsletter, I'll send this across, but I'm actually going to go through this quickly with you so you can build your own. So I always like to use an emoji, makes a human interaction. We're living in a digital age, so make uh, use of emojis where you can. I think it um, wakes people out of the idea that you've just sent a generic proposal. So I'm just going to say, hi, I'm going to replace this with Omar. So already, 
He knows that I'm a human and he knows that I know his, know his name. Now, this is the only part we are changing in the entire uh, template. This means that we can do this efficiently. So it says, I have recorded a personal video proposal for you here. And here's the link. Super easy. I'm going to show you how you can uh, create this link. It's through Loom. That is the next step. But let's go through this template just to show you uh, what I do. Right, so everything below here is templated. I like to put this in so that the client knows I'm being honest and I've been saying this is a copy and paste all below here because this is just generic information that they need to know. So literally, I used to send paragraphs about myself. Don't do that. What I realized is they don't care who you are, what you do. They want to know what you can do for them and uh, what your previous work is. So very short and sweet. Just say who you are, what you do, um, just the key facts. And then... I like to put my uh, booking link right at the top and the website so that you can quickly see who I am, uh, verify that, and then go to my booking link. Next, straight away, projects. Put in as many projects as you can. Obviously, don't put in your crap ones, put in your best ones. I, I like, I'd like to put as many as possible. Now, this is the filler. This is the crap. So if they get past that, that means that they're interested, they're hooked. So that's where I like to put my Webflow experience. And that's where I use emojis. It's kind of like, it's like a kid when he's viewing this, he likes the emojis. It's like you're collecting collectibles. So every time he reads one, he's like, oh, oh, this guy's going to have four years of this, four years of that. I'm going to hire somebody who's going to be able to make my uh, websites Webflow certified. So that's what that is. And then I like to put in a little bit, a little bit of information on uh, what you get with your website, again, with emojis, and then the entire Webflow process. So obviously I'll do a video in the future of what your Webflow process should be. But if you don't have any of this, just leave it out. But obviously if you're going to be building uh, websites for clients, you want to have some form of process and know what you're giving them. Right, next off is reviews. Get reviews as soon as possible and put them on your Google My Business account. So I've got my link here and I've just copied and pasted my five-star reviews into here. So obviously the lower this gets, the client probably is going to make it this far down. I just like to give all of this information uh, if possible. Right, and then final CTA, call to action. We've got a booking link and then my email, website, Instagram, and Facebook. There you go. That's all you need in your proposal template. And like I said, everything below here is copy and paste. So I'm going to show you the next easiest bit of sending this proposal. Super quick. Right, now we've got that. Uh, we're just going to leave that there. So this is the section where we are going to uh, send the actual video recording of us auditing their site. So here we are. And what we're going to do is open up your portfolio website. Or if you don't have a website, maybe get up some reviews. And if you don't have some reviews, just start on their actual website. So this is the link that they posted in their Upwork um, uh, job posting so you could start on here and start to audit here and obviously if they see this video they could be like oh this isn't just a copy and paste uh, video they're actually on my site and then the final thing if you have it is a relevant portfolio piece so this is a website I built for some ex-google employees so right here um, this is going to show them right I can build something that's very similar to their site right so that's three things we've got your portfolio website we've got their link, uh, what they've provided to their website, and then your own portfolio piece. And the way we're going to flow through this is we're going to say a quick introduction about who you are, what you can offer them, and then you're going to switch to their website, look at it, say what you like about it, what you don't like about it, how you can help improve it. And then the final piece is showing them this uh, portfolio piece uh, just to verify that you have done it before. Okay. Right, so we're going to do this in three, no. So, so basically right now I'm going to pretend that this is the video that I'm sending my clients. So this, what you see here, this circle is um, the Loom uh, software that I use. And it's literally a Chrome extension at the top where I just click Loom. And I'm going to have a referral link in the bio so you can get your uh, discounted Loom subscription here. But it also has a free paid uh, free plan where you can uh, have up to like five videos so you can keep them deleting them and using Loom for free basically but I've got a paid one right so you open up your Loom and this is what I'm going to send to the client 
and I'm going three, two, one. Hello, Omar. My name's Cole Cannon. I run Legacy Design Agency. Uh, this is my website and you can check us out online and see our five-star reviews just to verify I am who I'm saying I am. And basically a little bit about me before I get into auditing your site and uh, showing you a portfolio piece. Uh, I am a Webflow expert. I've been using it for eight years. I actually have a background knowledge within CSS and JavaScript and SEO. So that means uh, your website is going to be optimized perfectly. It's not just going to look beautiful on the front end, but it means that you're going to be uh, graded very well by Google on the back end as well. Um, I actually have a background as a brand identity designer within UI UX. So that's how I can actually uh, build these beautiful looking sites that perform optimally. But anyway, enough about me. Let's get into your site and look at um, just a few areas that I think that you can improve, a few areas I actually like about this site. But in general, I don't think there's anything terribly wrong with this. I think the structure's uh, there. You actually have a, a lot of content, which is great for SEO, which I'm sure you know. And you've got all the fundamental parts and pieces that make a great website. But I would just say one thing. Uh, the structure is very compressed. There's a lot of information on the page as soon as the user clicks on. And as you know, uh, the average amount of time a user will click on a page is uh, about three seconds. So if you don't uh, have the core CTA within that three seconds, it's just going to click off. And already you've got an image, this logo, and this, not logo, sorry, button. You've got two buttons. I'm kind of uh, torn away from what action I should make. So I would just make this home hero section 100 viewport height and just uh, enlarge this button and make sure that the image isn't taking over the button. Maybe I would stack this uh, text to the left and image to the right, as that's what a modern website is more utilizing. A center aligned website tends to um, not have as much design aesthetics to a left and right design. Now, same again, I think we should add more space between these elements as the text is very bunched up. I think we could increase the text size as well. And um, some interactions here and there could improve this site. I think this is the area you're asking for some advanced interactions. So right here, you have this beautiful uh, illustration. What we could do is actually turn this into a Lottie animation where on scroll, the different layers parallax and it creates a very cool um, perspective animation for the website. Also, they could be fading in from left and right and the text could be animating at the same time. Now, a good thing with utilizing me as your designer is that all of these animations will be optimized for speed. So I will be able to tell you if uh, there's too much or too little animations on the site, because ideally what we want to do is ensure that speed is the core fundamental for it. Now, um, I want to show you a quick portfolio piece that I done for some Google employees. Uh, these, like I said, ex Google employees who started their own marketing agency. Um, they wanted a website that had a lot of video background and animation. So as you can see here, this is uh, two Lottie animations, uh, which we can do for your site and a lot of use of custom coded web uh, carousels. Uh, the key thing about this website was the clients wanted a lot of interactivity and background videos. And I don't know if they knew when they were working for Google, but Google absolutely hates background videos. So it was a, a real slog trying to get this website to a very high speed because we had so many background videos, but we were able to do custom code and hosting the videos online. So hopefully you see something here that you like. Like I said, we can do all the animation work within After Effects, export them for Lottie and optimize them and also do any of the ad hoc work that you need on your website. Uh, thank you for watching this video and I hope to speak to you soon. You can just drop me a message within Upwork and then hopefully we can book a call and get your problem solved. Thank you. Right, hopefully you understood where I was going with that. Um, the client, basically you're giving the client as much information as possible and that is uh, what they want, basically. So once this is videoed, you're going to get a link from your Loom video, and then you're going to post it in here. So 
but let's just say this is www.loom.com. Now you've got that, just copy the entire proposal and we'll go back to the job posting. And again, like I said, this can be sent to um, cold called email people. This can be sent in any way, shape or form. As long as you've got your proposal template, their name and this link, you're good to go. So we go submit proposal. And once that has loaded up, as you see, my uh, amount is 75. I'm actually going to keep to $75 per hour because um, they're at 50 and it's not too much of an increase. And they have asked for, um, uh, actually, top left here, it's actually asked for intermediate experience level. If this asked for an uh, expert, I would do the 75. But because they've asked for intermediate, they're not looking uh, willing to pay higher. I would pay the exact amount that they've asked for. And right here, you've got, the cover letter we've just posted that entire uh, thing in there uh proposal and then we're gonna uh write in the, the question that they've asked please share your b2b website and we're gonna put in the portfolio piece that i've done and then i'm gonna say please review personalized uh, recording explaining why this is a good example project for your brief obviously spell that correctly not like i have because i have fat fingers make sure you're checking all your spelling because that that helps a long way right describe your recent experience with a similar project so again i would say um i would copy and paste that in but i'm only doing this for a vi uh, this video but i would actually give them a brief analysis and I would say I'd give the link and then I'd just, say, I'd just give some pointers B to B X Google employees, um, needed animation work and so on and so forth. Now, this is another thing that you probably won't have at the same time, but I actually have an onboarding video, uh, that explains the entire process from, uh, obviously speaking to the client up until launching the site. I like to upload that there and along with any supporting documents that they've requested, say for example, contracts or briefing documents. For this one, and you're probably not gonna have it at this stage, so just leave it blank. Now Webflow has these boost your proposal options. Now, like I said, a lot of people don't use this because they're sending so many per day, they don't wanna waste money. But like I said, we are the top 1%. So what I like to do is actually send a ridiculous amount of um, connect. So I'll send 20 because I know for a fact nobody is sending 20 amounts. And you, what this is going to do is literally pop you to the top of the list. The client's going to realize, oh, this person's willing to uh, spend a lot of money just to speak to me, basically. And because you've uh, given a personalized pr proposal, it's actually worth uh, doing this because you spent a lot of time. And like I said, the return rate on these proposals for me has been about 65%. Uh, when you're sending out bulk, you, you'd, be ha you'd be happy to get over 5% response rate. So there you go, boost that, you click boost. I'm not gonna send this because I, I need to tweak. I'm actually gonna send this off today for this one, but I'm gonna tweak it a little bit more. Boost that, send that off. And I'm telling you, if you send off two every day, um, so you're doing two, four, six, eight, ten. 10, you're doing 10 from Monday to Friday. Normally for me, I will hear back from a client and then next week or the week after. And for example, this week, I have four interviews tomorrow based on the proposals that I sent the week before. And like I said, I've gone through sending bulk proposals. I've done it. I've done every single way. And this is the highest feedback rate. And if we actually go to one of the messages the clients has sent me, you can see that they, they actually love the personalized content. So for example, Let's see what Kenny had to say. Hello, thank you for replying to my job posting. I was impressed with your portfolio, but would like to clarify a few things. There you go, very impressed from the start. He knows that I'm not um, wasting his time. Let's see what this client said. 
Hi, Cole. Thank you very much for your message because uh, I've given them value. Now, before when I used to send uh, work, uh, job postings, they'd just be like, what can you do for me? Hi, Carl. Thank you for your proposal. See, these people actually understand that I'm giving them value when I'm just sending a proposal. And here we go. EJ Lawless. Fantastic video and information. Quite a step above everyone else. So there you go. These are actual live uh, project case studies that are explaining <laughs> that they love a personalized proposal. Now, if you want any more information on this, you can uh, message me and I'll basically uh, give you more information, more steps that you can do this because there are more parts. But if you need the proposal document, uh, just subscribe via the link in the bio. And obviously you can get Loom via the link in the bio as well. And of course, I will be doing another video explaining how to do the uh, picking a good cold email calling list. But this should give you a good start in getting your first uh, client project. Good luck. And I hope that you're going to start making a lot of money with this software um, and speak to you soon.